hello guys welcome to our youtube channel zion city gate your life is about to turn around 360. god is going to do awesome things make sure you click on the subscribe button and join us so that you get alerts for every weekly new teachings on the scriptures you know god is using these words to change lives and bring testimonies and i know god will change your life too i want you to get excited just get yourself prepared as you launch in and god is going to do awesome things listen and be blessed we love you there is a level of dominion an unusual level of dominion God is handing over to you tonight. You will dominate in everything. You will dominate everywhere you go. And there is no stopping you. Dominion like never before. You will experience. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody say a better amen. amen. Our capacity in 2019 will be determined by our tenacity. This is not the season for you to be afraid. You are about to take over. Amen. You are about to dominate in every aspect of your life. This is not going to be just a service. This will be an encounter that will change your life forever. Look at the person sitting by you. Tell the person, I am too loaded to fear. If the person if that person is not getting it, turn to somebody else. Tell the person, I am too low dead to fail. Tell the person, I am too anointed to be yoked. Do you believe it? Yeah. Say a better amen to that. 2019 is a year you're going to walk in triumphantly. Amen. And the reason is that God is going to settle everything in this year. Amen. So that you can step in without any form of struggles. Amen. I want to welcome you all to this great encounter. Where heaven will touch your earth. When you know your mandate, then you know the spheres of your authority. When you know what God wants you to do, then automatically you have received what it takes to succeed. There is a reason God made you. God did not make a man to be defeated. God did not form you to go through troubles, unending troubles. God made you for a reason and for a season like this. All you have to do is to get ready to take up your mandate. We must run with that mandate. And what's that mandate? Genesis 1 and 26. If I'm right, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. And what happens? Let them have dominion. God made man for one reason. Come. 
God made him, including his hair. Including the muscles. For what? For dominion. God said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness, let them have dominion. That means the primary reason God made you and me is for dominion. Not in some places, but in all spheres of life. That means as you are looking at him, there is an anointing for dominion. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Look at the person standing beside you. Say there is an anointing for dominion on you. Listen, there is an anointing upon this young man. Whether you want to accept it or not, it doesn't matter. The maker said, I made him to dominate. Whether you feel like it or not, that is not what God asked you. He said, let us make man in our image. After like that, let them have dominion. Let them have because we made them, they will have. So before you ever prayed your first prayer, the dominion mandate was upon you. It's not something you attain. That's how you are born. The day you got born again, automatically you are born to dominate. The question is how many believers today After tonight, you will not look at yourself the same. You see, this 2019 is already scattered over. Those that are in the spirit are already there. And that's why before we enter, there are some strategic words I want you to speak. Because your family has not seen anything yet. A champion is about to rise. <laughs> we are more than conquerors. You are not a conqueror. You are more than it. So, I want you to sit. Special seat for you. There is <laughs> and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. He said, let them have dominion. And in the next verse, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female. Man is not just a male, but a female. Dominion is not a male issue. It's a man issue. If you're a female here, get ready. If men refuse to dominate, you go ahead and dominate. And of course, watch Cyprus in 2019. Women that will rise to preach the gospel. And miracles and signs and wonders will begin to happen. It will happen. And God made them male and female, created he them. Created he them. And in verse 28, something happened. And God blessed them and said to them. That means dominion mandate is a blessing. 
That's why I said to you, it's not about what you pray. It's how you are made. You've been blessed to dominate. And then the Bible said, he said to them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. Remember, when he they wanted to make man, he said, let us make man so that he will have dominion. And here he mentioned four other things, including dominion number five. That means in these four things, the end of it is dominion. There is a serious mandate waiting on believers in this nation. People believe you are prosperous. They have not seen anything yet. What does it mean to dominate? To dominate means you come out first in everything you do. To dominate means in the sphere of your business, you are the best. I said to somebody, I said, watch this ministry. We dominate. Watch your life academically, you dominate. Watch your life financially, you dominate. Not in some things, but in everything. He said, let them dominate over everything on earth. This is not a moment or a time to chicken out. This is a time to stand on your true height. As I always will say. And I love what they said in Psalms chapter 8. Psalms chapter 8. And verse 3. Psalms 8 verse 3 says, When I consider thy heavens and the work of thy fingers and the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. And verse 4. No, go back. I want to read that verse 3. When I consider thy heavens and the works that, that of thy fingers, the moon, the stars which thou hast ordained. And verse 4, there is a question. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Touch somebody say, who are you that God is mindful of you? People that ask you, where is your God? They are about to see your God show up. a question in heaven. When I consider the heavens and what you have done, then I ask. That means of everything God made, there is something unique about man. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him? Verse 5. For thou made him a little lower than the angels. Of course, we know he was made a little lower than the angels when Jesus hung on the cross. Hebrews made that clear. He was made a little lower than the angels for the cross. So, the man that represents man was made lower than, the, than angels on the cross. But when he came forth from the grave, he was restored back. But then, there's already a prophecy about it. I said, and and thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with glory. And what? There is something on your head. Thou hast crowned him with glory and honor. And the next verse, thou madest him to have what? Over some things? No. Over the works of thy hands. And has put You are stepping in into 2019. All things under your feet. Remember, friends, can I say this? He said, who is man that I am mindful of him? The son of man that I have visited him. Right? And verse 5, he says something. For thou hast made him a little lower than angels and hast crowned him. He's not about to. He has already. Crown with with own glory and honor. And verse 6, thou madest him to have. That means you have already dominion. 
So you have no reason not to dominate. 